guys and welcome back to my channel today we are in Krabi as you could see from my last video there isn't much going on in Krabi to be honest you have the emerald pool which is on the other side of the island the walking street the same on the other side of the, of the island or I mean of the island on the other side of the city or you can do like some tours and we didn't want to do any tours so we decided to walk from our apartment to Aonang beach and let's see a little bit what to do uh, the main attractions in Krabi are usually for island tour, go to the islands, but apart from that, let's see a little bit. It will be an improvised day today. I don't know if you can hear me because it's very windy and I don't have the wind protection. But anyway, we've been so lucky because we were walking and basically from our apartment to Aonang Beach. So the main beach here in Krabi is a two, 2 hours and 15 minutes walk. But there was this guy coming out of his house with his car, yeah? And uh, we were looking at him, um, we were looking at him, and he was like, looking at us back. So the guy stopped, he said, where are you going? We said to Aonang, oh, come, come, I will take you, we'll take you. So we said, okay, why not, let's go, it will still be cheaper than a taxi. So the guy drove us for, let's say, 10-15 minutes, and when when we arrived here in Aonang, he refused to take any money from us. So basically, we got to Aonang for free. Happy days, happy days. Now let's go around and see a little bit what to do. is that basically it is a let's call it a stopover for tourists going to the islands or willing to come to the south of Thailand because it, it has an airport yeah uh, basically if you walk around Krabi like in the Aonang area there isn't much to I mean I guess there's a lot of nightlife going on but during the day you only have a lot of restaurants and when I say a lot it's literally every five meters you will have a restaurant or a bar uh, some street food, tattoo shops, um, but I would say the main attractions here are the tours. So, like going to this island, this one, or that, no, this is a lot. This one, or to the islands, all around Krabi. So, if you come into Krabi, I wouldn't recommend to stay too long, stay maybe two or three days just to relax, you know, just to enjoy the beach because the beach is. told you about nightlife so this is a typical example of nightlife in uh, in Aonang Krabi so basically a bus with a with a club inside that's crazy crazy stuff anyway we went to the night market so basically when you are in the Aonang area you have two mar two night markets that you, you can go to so you have the night market night market place it's called it this way because that's how it's called on Google and you have the other one which is called the Aonang night market both of them are nice the Aonang night market is quite bigger than the other one but in terms of food I guess it's the same you, you always have the pad thai for 50 or 60 baht always you know the same kind of dish for the same price so it, it doesn't make any big difference right now we've decided to go back to the apartment uh, let's see if we're lucky enough to find someone that, that will take us home or if we have to walk two hours we didn't really want to spend money on uh, on the on the trip home so we can walk it's fine if no one is taking us back that's okay we will use our legs so obviously shit happens we need to come back walking at home so without the need of taking a taxi or a grab uh, but unfortunately 
Uh, this is where Google Maps sent us. In the middle of nowhere. Literally in the middle of nowhere. Anyway, right now we're going back to take the tuk-tuk. We have no choice. I mean, it's either taking a tuk-tuk or uh, going to the forest until... Uh, we don't know. Until nowhere, maybe? God knows where. Bye -bye. Bye. This was our ride for tonight. Really nice guy, and we got a cheap price as well 350 baht to come back to the apartment for such a long ride. I hope you learned a little bit about what to do in Aonang area and about Krabi in general. I will definitely recommend going to the island instead of spending the entire time here in Krabi, but it depends on what you want to do. If you want, you know, when you only want to relax or going to the night market. That's the perfect place for you. And we're going to visit the... We're going to do a five tour island and going to the to Rayleigh Beach, which we loved last year. In the meantime, thank you for watching until the end. I hope you enjoyed this video and see you for next time.